energy transformation examples of energy conversion and what is energy transfer at the end of this video let me clear your concept about the common misconception regarding energy transfer and energy transformation before starting the video you must click on the subscribe button and you will get access to our hundred of conceptual videos for free in order to learn energy conversion or energy transformation you must learn that what is energy and law of conservation of energy we all know that the ability to do some sort of work is known as a energy for example you and i need energy to walk to talk or to speak we eat different food because food contain chemical energy after digesting this chemical energy and the food we can talk or walk or do some sort of useful work so the chemical energy in the food makes us capable to do some sort of useful work without this chemical energy in the food you and i won't be able to speak to walk or to talk now what is the law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy states three important points the first one is that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed the second point is that it can be transformed or transferred from one form into another form and the third point is that the total amount of energy remains constant let consider that the banana contains 105 joule of chemical energy when you eat this banana you get the same amount of chemical energy from the banana i mean you get 105 joule of chemical energy now you start walking here you are in motion so you possesses kinetic energy the your body will convert 105 joule of chemical energy into 105 joule of kinetic energy here in this example chemical energy is transformed by your body into kinetic energy hence this is the example of energy conversion or energy transformation secondly your body neither created this 105 joule of chemical energy nor destroyed this 105 joule of chemical energy but your body just converted or transferred or transformed this 105 joule of chemical energy into 105 joule of kinetic energy thirdly the total amount of energy remained the same or conserved I mean initially there was 105 joule of chemical energy in the banana while here your body perfectly transferred this 105 joule of chemical energy into 105 joule of kinetic energy without any wastage thus remember these two important points about law of conservation of energy now what are the examples of energy conversion or energy transformation we all know that the main source of energy in the nature is the sun the light energy of the sun is converted into chemical energy by plants or one can say that plants stores are transferred light energy into the chemical energy when animals eat plants they digest plants and as a result animals get chemical energy of the plants and then animals transfer this chemical energy into other useful form energy like sound energy heat energy kinetic energy etc let there is a bottle of fuel we know that fuel contains chemical energy let this bottle of fuel has 10 joule of chemical energy now when we put this 10 joule of chemical energy into car's tanky as a result the car will start moving in this direction here the car is in motion hence the car converted 10 joule of chemical energy of fuel 
एंड टू टेन जूल ऑफ काइनेटिक इनर्जी विदाउट एनी वेस्ट दस इन दिस एग्जाम्पल केमिकल इनर्जी इज ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड एन टू काइनेटिक इनर्जी द इन अदर इनर्जी कन्वर्जन एग्जाम्पल इज द वेंट इनर्जी वी यूज वेंट टर्बाइन इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट वेंट इनर्जी एंड टू यूजफुल इनर्जी आई मीन द काइनेटिक इनर्जी ऑफ द वेंट इज कन्वर्टेड एन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल इनर्जी आर मैकेनिकल इनर्जी बाय द वेंट टर्बाइन This electrical energy can then be converted to light energy or to sound energy or to heat energy. Thus in this example wind energy is converted into kinetic energy into electrical energy and to mechanical energy. The another example of energy conversion is hydroelectricity. We all know that the electricity generated by hydropower is known as a hydroelectricity. The water is stored in the dams or reservoirs at a certain height. The water at a certain height possesses potential energy. When water falls down, its potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. I mean, the potential energy will run the turbines. The kinetic energy of the turbines are transformed into the electrical energy. Thus, in this case, potential energy of the water is converted into kinetic energy and then to electrical energy. Similarly, when a ball is present at a particular height, it possesses potential energy. Now, this ball starts falling. The potential energy of the ball is converted into kinetic energy. When the ball hits the ground, then the kinetic energy of the ball is converted into sound energy and heat energy. Hence in this example, potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and to sound energy and then into heat energy. The last example of energy conversion our energy transformation is the transformation of solar energy we all know that the energy of the sun in the form of sunlight is known as a solar energy solar energy is the cheap and powerful source of energy we can convert solar energy into heat energy for instance we can convert solar energy into heat energy with the help of reflector and thermal absorber solar energy can also be converted into electrical energy or electricity with the help of semiconductor devices called solar cells are used in order to convert solar energy into electrical energy to get sufficient amount of voltage from solar energy we connect solar cells in series way forming a solar cells panel the electrical energy obtained from solar energy can be converted into other useful forms of energy like kinetic energy sound energy light energy and heat energy thus in this example solar energy of the sun is converted into electrical energy and then to kinetic energy and then to sound energy and it lasts to light energy finally let me clear your concept about the common misconception regarding energy transfer and energy transformation now what is energy transfer energy transfer refers to the movement of energy from one place to another for example We know that energy flows from your wall socket then moves through a charger or wires into the home electronics the energy is being transferred from the wall socket to the electronics so when energy is just transferred from one place to another it is known as a energy transfer now what is energy transformation Energy transformation means changing of energy from one form to another form. For example, 
when you eat fruits you get energy i mean the fruit contains chemical energy when you digest food you transfer chemical energy and to useful form of energy like sound energy kinetic energy and heat energy to summarize my lecture remember that energy transfer is the moment of energy from one location to another energy transformation is when energy changes from one type to another therefore energy can be transferred or transformed and the total amount of energy always remains the same that's why we have different forms or different types of energy because energy can be transferred from one form and to another form like kinetic energy heat energy sound energy potential energy electrical energy etc if you have learned the concept of energy transformation and energy transfer then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures thank you very much for watching this video